Alright guys, and welcome back to more Ding Ding Room Paul. <laughs> Ding Ding Ron Paul 2 Presidential Edition. But here we go guys, we are here about to do some more free time. Free time? No time. And we are about to hang out with somebody. We can hang out with Akane again, we can hang out with Gundam. We haven't hung out with him either, or Nagito. Should we hang out with Nagito? Yeah, let's hang out with Nagito. Let's hang out with Naruto. Let's hang out with Naruto. Who's Naruto? What up, Naruto? Wait, your name is Nagito? Oops. Hello there. Are you getting along with the girls at Grape House? What should I do? Let's hang out. Impossible. The gracious invitation makes me want to cry. There's no way I could decline. I spent time with Nagito today talking about various things. I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Let's give him something. I've been giving everybody food, so... Free package... Yeah. Thanks. You're going to give this to me? Thanks, Hajime. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me, even if it's trash or leftover food. <laughs> Didn't Mikan say the same thing? What? We don't even get... What the hell? That was a waste of time? That was basically a waste of time. Like, he doesn't have any freaking... Wow, that was a waste of time, apparently. I should reload. I should reload, man. Hell yeah, because we, we didn't even learn anything from dude. So you damn right I'm going to reload. You know what? First of all, yeah, I'm going to reload. I saved it. I'm extra mad at that. That was bull. I ain't hanging out here. If, if he ain't going to give me an event, I'm not hanging out with him. You damn skip it. You damn skip it, homie. That was a waste of time. You ain't gonna give me no hope fragment. No hope fragment. You damn right. Let's hang out with Sonya Blade if she's in here. Sonya. Sonya Blade, where you at? Here she is. Uh, Starting to feel somewhat dizzy just as I thought. This wallpaper color is dreadful. Let's take a little break. I spent time today talking to Sonya at the indoor park. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Let's give her this, high in fiber. A tribute for me? It is rare for me to see such a common item, so I am quite happy. By the way, you're really good with words. Of course. I've done much studying. You speak really fluently. Yes. Yes. I do not know how many times I've seen Aiwa rest your eyes. When I arrived in Japan, the first thing I did was run across the Spain Zaka. Uh, I see. I don't really understand, though. Um... In my opinion, I believe the best Japanese dramas what? were the ones aimed at women between the ages of 20 to 34 just before Japan's economic bubble burst. Your trendiness, energy, and quality. Entertainment was truly at its zenith during this period. I see. It's no use. I can't keep up with what she's saying at all. And what the heck does she mean by bubble? However... Like all entertainment, Japanese dramas heavily reference their native culture. Because of this, slang expressions were often used, so they are something... There are some things foreigners may not understand. Um... If you're willing, would you train me? Train? Of course, I can teach you some things, I understand, but, uh... <laughs> thank you very much! For example, um, when lovers go on a ski trip, they always end up trapped by a blizzard, right? What? In that situation, what do you call the ritual where they warm themselves under the blanket while naked? What? Well, that's not really a ritual, it's, um... How should I put it? It's more like a cliché scene from Persona 4 Golden Ski Trip. I... Is that so? I certainly thought it was something that's known in my country as... Mekongo. Mekongo? Um. It's a tradition in my country. According to traditions, lovers cannot become one until they show each other the Mekongos they have grown. The Mekongos? It's, in too, it's too embarrassing, so please don't make me say it. Embarrassing? What is a Mekongo anyway? I cannot say. You will get a nosebleed. 
Is it really that embarrassing? It seems that no Novoselic Kingdom is filled with more mysteries than I thought. Makongos, what the fuck? Are you talking about yoked out bazongas? After having an awkward conversation with Sonya, I returned to my room. What time is it right now? It's already 10 p.m. Just as I thought, I can't get a sense of time. It, I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. Gotta go back to my room, dog. Let's talk to Akane, can we? It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. No, is there anyone available we can speak to right now? There's usually there's usually some extra stuff you can get if you talk to these characters. So they're all in their rooms. I can't even warp there. Can you believe it? They won't even allow me out of here. If I can't warp there, that means I can't even walk there either. Damn it. Alright, close the map. Sonya, let me in, girl. Let me in, girl. Somebody's gonna let me up in one of these rooms. Alright, here we go. Whatever. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry! I heard that! What are you gonna do? Are you whining already? It's only your second day! It's so jeez! All you have to do is all you got to do is shut up, Monokuma! You should just stop being st stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing. What do you want? You don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? News! I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you got here, right? You have the drive in an old you have a you have the drive of an old man in his fifties. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at Great Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Oh man, 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this morning, or no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, so you'll figure it out. Bye bye. Woo -hoo, -hoo. Peace out. <laughs> service with all your heart, huh? It's no use, my stomach feels so empty. I can't stop thinking about food. I think I'm going to cannibalize and eat somebody. I'm gonna become a cannibal. I'm gonna become a cannibal. I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs. And went to sleep. Hunger pangs. Time to take a sip of this coffee. I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, what do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results. He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, he's a rude pit. But he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only that, God gives him both hands, God gave him everything. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He's always talking crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. I'm talking shit about him right now. Fuck Monokuma with your red and the black and the white and your teddy bear looking eye. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. That he can't live without me. He's usually cold towards me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but after a while he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. What? He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. Those were the results. This is troubling. I'm so loved. I don't think I belong to one person for a while. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Savage must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed to the lounge. Six thirty a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at group or Great Tower by seven a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. All right, let's go. 
Sakai da yo! Go da yo! But somebody's still in their room. Who is that? Sonya, get your ass out of here, girl. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess for now I should go to the Great Tower. Damn it! Tell her to get her ass out of there. Why is she still in her room? That's weird. Do, do, do. Is Sonya gonna be the next one to die? Will she ever have kids with Johnny Cage? Find out next time on Don Gon Roomba. What are you doing here? <laughs> I've been thinking about this statue. Based on my gut feeling. It's not alive or anything, but it has a strong aura. I can't think of it as a regular human aura. This might be the most powerful creature on the island. I'm starting to get pumped up. That sure gets me going. Is this a person? The nameplate says ogre, so isn't this a statue of an ogre? Right. Ogre or whatever. It's fine as long as it's strong. Yo. Oh look, it's almost time. I had I have to head over to the Grape Tower. Is she thinking about fighting the strongest creature on the island? Let's look, make sure everybody's off of freaking this area. Out of this area, excuse me. Sony's over there. Where's the other guys at? No, that was Chiaki that I seen. All the other guys are over there. Maybe I should go talk with the other guys. Talk with Chiaki. Good morning, Chiaki. Are you going to the Great Tower? She walked by me without saying anything. Chiaki! Chiaki! Wake your ass up! I was sleeping. You were sleeping? Isn't it dangerous to sleepwalk? I guess you can say she's in sleep mode. Ah, 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 get it? She's trying to conserve energy. Don't fall asleep while maxing that. Good morning. I'll be fine, I think. You don't look fine at all. Wanna go to the Grape Tower together? I feel fine, I think. Is she really okay? Let's see if we can go to the Strawberry. Try to recruit all the other guys. Nope. Sonya's still in her room, surprisingly. Grape Tower. Oh, we met everybody here. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Ah, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining. You're bringing me down, man. I mean... But I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn, so obviously we're more tired than you guys. Enough! Stop whining, you little bitch! Hey. You sound like some YouTube commentator talking shit, backseat gaming and shit. You're fine. You don't even have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? You guys are really starting to... <laughs> you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. Damn it. You got a lot of nerve coming here. Um. Now that we've all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want to. I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey, hey! You're losing your job because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? You better feed us. So. <laughs> I like to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi. Start the music. What? <sighs> this is dumb. I'm sweating bullets. I'm hungry as fuck. Even though I got all these snacks on me as presents. And you got us doing some Tai Chi bull? Make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Three, six, two. Control your breathing this slowly is... and softly. Tai Chi. Ha, two. Yeah. Naturally, just as you are, relax your body and Why are you doing this to us? 
This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Hey, over there! Don't dawdle! You ain't gonna make me. You ain't gonna make me do this, Tai Chi. We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Oh, fuck off! We did a bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you, and now we're hungrier than ever. I can't even move. You guys. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we gotta do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. Fuck you, Monokuma. I ain't showing up. That is. I'm skipping school, homie. Damn it. I don't think I'm gonna last till to tomorrow. Damn it. How much longer is this going to last? This is troubling. Didn't he say until the killing starts? This, too, must be the will of causality. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. Damn it! I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I might as well... What are you saying? Calm down! Shut up! Shut up! I can't fucking calm down! Damn it! There's no food! There's no way to escape! Zero escape! There's zero escape from this place! Hey! Wait, are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean you'd rather die? So, what you're saying is you want to die for our cause. Huh? I get it, you're just saying that because you're the traitor! What the fuck are you saying, Kazuichi? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all! What are you saying? Hey! What's up? You've been, you've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear! You better... Stop! Oh, okay. So... Making it seem it's just gonna make us hungry, so let's just calm down for now. No fighting! <laughs> You're right, even if you guys fight, our situation isn't gonna change. It appears you cannot escape. Wait to die from impending starvation or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. I... Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're going to choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. This is fucked up, dude. The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking and arguing. It's like, they're, they're literally being forced to do shit. They are being forced into, the, into these motives. Unlike the first game, where the motives were just literally just bullshit motives. Like, who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, I'm gonna kill somebody to get out of here, just so I can become a millionaire. That was, the, that was some selfish ass shit going on in the first game. In this game, they, they literally have no choice, it feels like, in the matter. There's a few motives in this game where, of course, there were like chances where they, they they had a chance to not do anything, but people still felt for it. But a lot of the motives in this game are like, fucking, dude, you either die this way or you're gonna die that way. <laughs> That's exactly how it is in this game. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off, it's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should stay, just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. Free time? Free time! Free time! Free time! Scary free time! Nikomaru nida, nida! I'm gonna die, probably. We're all gonna die. Starvation. Starvation. Sonya Bleed. Akane. Oh, Chiaki. Let's try to hang out with Chiaki again. Huh. He dies over here. Chiaki, let me in, girl. Let me in. Damn, this room looks kind of creepy. Maybe deluxe, but... Let's play after we get out of here. Damn, Chiaki! Damn, I can't hang out with Chiaki at all! I can hang out with Nagito, probably, but I don't want to hang out with him. Because he doesn't give you an event. Well, you needed a specific item. You needed to hang out with him during Chapter 2. During the prologue in chapter one, just to be able to continue his social link. 
Why should be something dumb like that? And to be honest, I don't really care. Cause I'll just do that shit in like island mode or something. I guess we'll hang out with Sonya again. What the heck? What the? That was weird. Sonya. I am sorry. My apologies. It appears I was staring out into space for a bit. What should I do? Should I invite Sonya to hang out? Um. Let's talk about something. I still want to know why Sonya was in her room while everybody else was at the Great Hall, and then once we got to the Great Hall, Sonya was there. We didn't say much. She looked like she didn't have much strength to talk. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like I got a little closer. Let's see. Potato chips. I still got some potato chips. Don't tell nobody, though. That is. Bribery will not be tolerated. As a princess novel seller, like I must have adamantly refused to receive something like this. Are you kidding me? I got potato chips. I got potato chips, bitch. You better take this shit. <laughs> you better eat these potato chips before you die. <laughs> what the fuck? Nobody wants to eat. Are you kidding me? Nobody trusts me anymore. I gave her food last time and now she doesn't want food. What is this nonsense? What is this madness? I knew I should have saved it before I hang started hanging out. They don't accept food during this chapter or something? Talking about bribery. Bribery? Bitch! You know you hungry and you want to deny some potato chips? Alright, more potato chips for me! <laughs> The fuck? Bruh. Alright, you better accept this cake. The better, yeah, I'm gonna give it the same thing I gave it last time. Huh? I'll never return it to you, no matter what. You. You look pretty bummed. Are you even eating? Hank? My name is Hajime. You only got the H right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? <laughs> this yummy food, soft blankets, my room doesn't leak when it rains. What are you talking about? There's no food here. Oh my god. <laughs> this place is way better than where I grew up. Seriously, even in this kind of situation, um, you know how it is. There's no, it's not that strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Where are you from? Uh, a trashy place where crappy people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say that like it's no big deal? What kind of environment was she raised in? The ghetto. The ghetto. I even sold my used panties to this nosy pig guy who kept oinking panties panties. By the time I was able to legally work part time, I didn't have to run anywhere anymore. So you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. So when you mentioned parkour before, you meant you were talking about that. But that probably just laid the foundation of, for being a gymnast. What kind of part time jobs did you do? I bet you probably did like manual labor. <laughs> well I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriends always pushed me into we doing weird jobs. Huh? Like. At first, one of them told me all I needed to do was serve food, but I expected he'd tell me to do it like that. I never expected him to. What? I'm pretty sure Akane is talking about being a waitress, but what kind of waitress? Cosplay? <laughs> no panties? <laughs> Roller skater? Let's say cosplay. Um, Cosplay, is that tasty? Looks like I got it wrong, then. Let, let's say no panties. Really? What? What happened? Oh, well. What does that mean? I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? That doesn't make sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. Of course. <laughs> that would definitely make your stomach cold. That's not the issue! You. Man, you're annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> I guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. 
After she said that, I kind of walked away in a hurry. What kind of past does she have? Told her to wear no panties while serving her? Serving him? More free time, please. Says, Sonya fucked up my free time earlier. It's no use. I think I reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, 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 hippo. If this keeps going... If this keeps going until I die... What am I thinking? If I stay locked up in this place, I need to find an exit. Oh, where is it? Where's the exit? Where the fuck is the exit? Too hungry for this shit. The final dare room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Munakuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon that fable holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Probably the food, right? And if you're feeling heroic and willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dare room. I mean, if it comes to the point where you're like about to die from hunger, you might as well just fucking challenge it. You might as well. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody's gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Munakuma's lies. It's possible that the, that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right. It's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. Maybe I can find food. Food. I'm a dude. She's the dude. He's a dude. We're all dudes. Ah. Yes. I'm hungry right now. The final dead room. So that's where we gotta go, but we can't warp there. Where is everybody at? Akane and Nekomaru are on the second floor near the Great Ball. Everybody is like... Where is everybody else? They're probably... At the final dead room too, any money. Cause they're not showing up on the map at all. They were not on the map, guys. Alright, let's go towards the final dead room. I'm a dude. She's a dude. He's a dude. We're all dudes. Say I'm a dude. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is actually save the game. Take a break. And once we come back, we'll be back with more Dingin Roompa. So I'll see you guys very shortly.